Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing a combination of rarities that may just be irresistible. One of my favorite Patek Philippe references I've ever encountered. This is the Patek Philippe 5711G in white gold on leather strap with Tiffany co-signed dial. A bygone era on the inside. This one's also signed with the Geneva Hallmark. You can see this combination of rare features and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and actually complete pricing details for this rarely seen white gold Patek Philippe Nautilus with Tiffany co-signed dial. Well, let's start with the basics. It's a little bit unusual to see a white metal Patek Philippe on a strap. The fit of it is a pleasure though, I must say. First of all, it has a more luxurious demeanor about it, greater air of refinement than it has on the brutal metal links of a bracelet, but it's also more compact for smaller wrists. My 16 centimeter circumference wrist appreciates the fit that comes with the strap. The watch is still approximately 40.5 millimeters if you measure it across diagonals, so from roughly 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock across the the case not including the wings. It is a slim watch, there's no doubt about that. 8.8 .8 millimeters thick. This one slides easily under a dress cuff with that beautifully sloped case flank. And if you measure from the, the joining link, the intermediate link between the lug and the strap, the rigid most outer points, you find there's a span across the wrist of about 49.5 millimeters. Nevertheless, because the strap has more flexibility than the links of the bracelet, which reach the limits of their travel when you start to bend them down, this is a watch that I believe could wear well on a wrist as small as 13 and a half to 14 centimeters in circumference. And in white gold, you do feel that extra small bit of heft. This is stealth wealth of the best kind, a secret between you and your watch, richness that only you can appreciate and enjoy. Now the strap is handsome and flat. I think it's important to note that it matches the slim profile of the case. It features sheer edges. It features a medium rectangular scale alligator leather in semi-gloss with a lightly contrasting gray stitch. It's subtle but handsome. Nicely tapered. You can see it has the same integrated look as the watch has on the bracelet because of the flare of the strap as it approaches the lugs. On the underside, a supple calfskin. This is a Patek strap. It does feature a rich white gold double deploying clasp with twin trigger actuation. Of course, you can put the watch on a rubber strap that Patek Philippe sells. The only other example of the white gold not 5711 I've seen was actually on a handsome vulcanized blue rubber strap, uh, actually lighter than cobalt, lighter than navy. It was very handsome and it's a piece I would invest in to increase the versatility of this watch should you choose to buy it because this one with the screw down crown and the screwed in case back can absolutely go swimming. Now you'll note the intermediate link is of high polish for contrast with the satin finish top of the case, doubling as the lugs. In profile you can see satin finish and polished elements in contrast and the bezel featuring a combination of geometric and hard geometric angles and rounded facets kind of squares the circle so to speak. Now you can also see that the dial is robustly metallic but it's not the gradient that you've come to expect on the 5711 1A. That is a blue fade. This is consistent. It's, it has the same reflective value from the inside next to the cannon pinion at center to the outermost peripheries of the dial. So it's a beautiful metallic. One thing it does have to its credit however is that it's a little bit of of a chameleon and a chimera shifting dramatically. The way it catches the light will vary by angle and light intensity. Now you can also see that this is a sports watch. Fully luminescent white gold indices with superluminova, white gold baton style hands at center with superluminova, and that Tiffany Co signature. Let me see how close I can actually get here. This is not the easiest thing to express because it is subtle, but it's worth mentioning because the combination of the white gold Nautilus with the Tiffany signature and the Geneva seal movement movement is a true rarity. You begin narrowing the potential number of watches that were made to an incredible degree. Now the important thing about the Tiffany 
Cosine Patek Philippe as opposed to Tiffany retailed Rolex watches sold from the 50s through the early 90s is that this is official between Patek Philippe and Tiffany. The actual printing of the Tiffany script on the dial is done by Patek Philippe. And here's the other thing important to remember to give you an idea of just how rare this is. Not all Tiffany retailed Patek Philippe watches feature the dial signature. It's an option. So here we have a Tiffany retailed 5711G with the Geneva hallmark from the older generation of these that did have the option for the Tiffany signature. And it's elegant and it's discreet. It's everything that luxury should be. Low key for those who know and can appreciate. This is the best of all possible worlds. And again, it is a sports watch. Automatic winding and 120 meters water resistant. Again, throw it on the accessory rubber strap and this is your watch for summer fun or a far flung locale, perhaps in the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, wherever your winter wandering may take you. On the case back caliber 324, automatic winding unidirectional action for higher efficiency. You can see the Poisson de Genève or the Geneva hallmark on the movement on the bridges, the bridges featuring a linear Cote de Genève finish and a circular Cote de Genève on the Calatrava cross emblazoned winding mass. You can see it's a gyromax style free sprung balance beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. This is pre-silicon of course, so it is a metal hairspring. The free sprung architecture, a mechanical engineering tradition of Patek Philippe introduced in the early 1950s, it takes and holds a more precise regulation, but then it also gives the watch improved resistance to shock induced timing deviation. Not that you're going to want to beat the watch, but it's got the heart of a sports watch and it's worth mentioning. Now the timepiece is remarkably slim as most featuring the 324 and its predecessor, the 315R. But though it's 8.8 .8 millimeters thick, you can see because of the cup-like profile of the case back, once strapped down to the wrist, it actually nestles in and sits even lower, creating the appearance that the watch is truly ultra thin, impossibly thin even. Beautiful and iconic. There's no doubt that this is a Nautilus, so if model and brand recognition is important to you, rest assured the watch isn't going to fly completely under the radar, but the combination of the rare model in white gold, the Geneva seal, and the Tiffany Co. signature make this a true connoisseur special. For every 157 11 1As you see, you might see one of these. I have no idea what the ratio of steel Nautilus to white gold with the Tiffany dial and the Geneva Hallmark might be, but it approaches the numbers that boggle the imagination. And this watch truly does that. It inspires the mind and it sets the heart aflutter. See it and own it on our website.